Hey everybody, and today is Sunday, September 18th, 2022, and we're here at Kennan Square, Pennsylvania at Longwood Gardens. I'm, I love this place, it is beautiful. It's a fantastic day out today, by the way. It's like, what, like low 70s or something like that? I, as soon as I found the temperature was gonna be amazing, I knew we had to come out here today and check this place out, because it's, it's fantastic. We're actually, um, do they call them annual passes or season passes? We're season, yeah. we're season slash annual pass holders to here because this place is so beautiful. Look at the fountain here. I mean, come on. I love this place. I always describe this place as the horticultural Disneyland. That's, that's what I always say. It's, it's, the, it's the Disneyland of horticulture. If you're, if you're a big fan of plants and flowers and fountains and really nice manicured lawns and things like that, this is a place to come out to. It is huge. You can literally spend the entire no, you can spend the entire day here. So many hours. We, we came the first time you and I ever came here. Yeah. I remember we, we came out here just for the day. We got out here bright and early in the morning. We thought we'd be out here for a couple hours. Yeah. That was it. There was a cafe with like food. There's a there's a whole restaurant here. We thought that was that's interesting. There's a restaurant, but now we know why there's a restaurant. That's because we spent that entire day here from open to close. We walked all the way around. We saw everything. There's there's just there's so much to see. There's a house you can explore from Pierre S. Dupont. The guy who gave well he didn't get most of the world cancer his company pretty much gave most of the world can we don't need to get into the dupont company but pierre s dupont actually this this is his creation so he did create one good thing yeah i mean besides nylon i guess nylon, nylon's okay it's just, just non-stick pants you want to you want to stay away from but um yeah you can go toward his house that's here there's all kinds of fountains and there's a giant meadow you can walk through which is really cool it goes all the way back to this giant farmhouse this old historical farmhouse that sits back on the meadow and there's all kinds of things to see and do here. It is really cool. And right now there's actually a light show going on. I did a video, I guess, what, a couple months ago, two months ago? Two months ago or so we were out here and I shot a... Somebody's not happy about the uh, the light show. So about two months ago or so, we actually, you know, she's not happy because the light show isn't happening yet. Yeah, maybe. She wants she wants to get it, wants it to get dark so the light show could happen. But anyway, got, but about two months ago, we came out here and actually did a video on part of the light show. This is also another part of it. So at night, all these bulbs light up and it's beautiful. They all change colors. They don't do this all the time. This is just a installation they've been doing for like three months or something like, yeah, that. something like that. And that's it, but it's gorgeous when these things light up. Really awesome. Definitely something cool to come out here and see. This place actually has three tree houses you can take a look at. We're gonna go in one of them right now. Sean really wanted to go up into the, uh, the tree house here. Look at this. How cool is that? This should be our house. Wanna live in a tree house? No. I'd live in a tree house. It's That's really too cool. Not like a tree. It's not what? It's not really on a tree anyway. That's true. There's a tree right there. Well, yeah, there's a tree going through it. The tree houses aren't your typical tree houses that you yeah. think. When you think a tree house, you think you think like a, you know, a house way way up in the tree. These are just kind of like wooden structures built around trees, but yeah. still, they're they're tree houses. And again, there's three of them here, which is really awesome. So we're gonna take a look at this one. Look at the, the dragon. That's cool. That is pretty awesome. Again, I love this place. It's so good. There's just so much to see here. Like I said, you can literally spend an entire day walking around here. It's that big. There's that much stuff to see. It is that big. It is that cool. You can get some food, get some, some breakfast, some lunch, and some dinner at the uh, at the restaurant. We actually just got some dinner there. Got some delicious grilled chicken, which was awesome, and a big bar. Had some iced tea. Unfortunately, they didn't have regular unsweetened iced tea. Only, only unsweetened iced tea with lemon, which was okay. I prefer without lemon, though, personally. Look at this. So at night, these candles light up. That's what I was gonna say. Like, the candles? Yeah. I like how it looks like they're actually Yeah. Dead. So at night, those light up, which is really awesome. Look at this. Look at that. How cool is the, you can kind of see what's going on here. It's like this optical illusion just goes on. There you go, it goes on forever and ever. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Infinity mirrors, yes. Beautiful here. This is why we bought an annual pass for all the cool, amazing stuff there is to see here, just how beautiful it is. Every, every time I come here, it just puts me in a, it's like, it is like going to Disney. Like when I get to Disney, even though I haven't been happy with what they've been doing recently, they, it still puts me in a really good mood to just, to just be there. You walk into the park, an instant smile hits your face. You're just so happy to be at the park. And it's the same thing. As soon as we got here, as soon as we walked into the park, I just smelled the smell of like nature 
and flowers. And I just immediately was put into a really, really good mood. Cause I just, I love it here that much. We actually haven't over the last couple of years gotten a, uh, a season pass cause due to COVID and there was all kinds of restrictions yeah. and they made you have a mask here, even though you're outside, which we didn't really want to do during the middle of, you know, we don't want to come out here. We don't want to here like June or, or, or June, June warm. Summer. No, summer. I was gonna say August, July. That's what I was gonna say. All those months. We we didn't want to yeah, the, the summer. We didn't want to come out here in the middle of summer when it was like 400 degrees with masks on because that would just we we've done that in Disney. Yeah. We didn't like it too much, so we didn't really do annual passes here the last couple of years. But this year, I knew I knew we had to start getting an annual pass again to come out here. They do um, fireworks shows here occasionally. They have a really amazing fountain show they do yes. here. They're going to be doing it tonight. They have a main fountain in this place, and it's it's huge. It's this huge, gigantic yeah. fountain with these big fountains that shoot up like hundreds and hundreds of feet into so the air. Yeah. They do it to music and lights and it's really, really cool. Definitely something to check out. We gotta do that tonight? Yeah. We definitely should do that tonight because when, that's a cool thing. Once you pay to get in here, you can see the show and all you that stuff. As as you, you can stay as long as you want. So you pay to get in you know, from the beginning of the day and then you can just stay for as long as you want. Any shows that are going on, you can check those out, which is really cool. Yeah, there's like this other fountain show that's like near the clock tower. Remember that one? The fountain show near the clock tower? Yeah, up, like up on the bridge. You mean the main fountain show we were just talking about? No, not the main one. The one on Maybe the bridge. Maybe it's just bridge. a fountain and not a show. I'm not sure which one you're talking no, about. There's a show. By the, oh, I there's have no. You know cool they here. tell you like about it, but like it's not the main fountain show. Nope. <laughs> there's a there's a stage that has fountains. I have no idea which one you're talking about. I, I don't know if you're talking about the main I, one or not. There's just so much cool stuff here. There's yeah. there's a lot of cool stuff here. You can't even remember You can that. usually see bullfrogs down here, which is really awesome. I'm going to go over and see. I don't know if there's any, they're, they're looking at something. There might be frogs down here now. Some that you can see them jump if you walk along here. Well, what was that sound? What was that sound? That sounded like a rattlesnake. Yeah. I don't know what that sound is. I don't, I don't, know, what, I don't know what that sound is. What do you see? see a tadpole. Tadpole, where? No, I don't. Uh, Did it go away? It's right there. It's right there. I don't see it. Do you guys see a tadpole in the camera? Sean sees a tadpole. It's the black thing moving in the uh, water. Well, yeah, there's, I mean, there's definitely tadpoles in here because there's definitely, there's definitely frogs in here. Oh, there's a frog. So you guys can look as I'm walking along, frogs tend to jump, down. jump off the uh, side into the water. I don't know if there's see any bullfrogs today. You can usually hear them. They're looking at something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a frog right over there. It's that yeah. There. Yep. So yeah, pretty awesome. All kinds of nature out here. We've been seeing squirrels. We've been seeing frogs. We've been seeing rabbits. Tons of little tiny rabbits. What, what are they looking at now? Did you find another one? Yeah. Where? The big one right there. See how where this branch comes down? Oh yeah. It's right in the water there. Yeah. So yeah I'm just zoom. Relaxing. Zoom in on. There's more tadpoles. There he is. I believe you. Oh, kind of right in the center of the screen. Yeah. There's tadpoles. That's pretty awesome. So there's all kinds of nature out here. I've seen deer out here. Of course, there's all kinds of birds and you know, like frogs. I've seen turtles out here. We've seen cute little tiny uh, rabbits. Oh, so many there these, these little bunnies that are out everywhere right now, which is really awesome. It's a really cool place. I, again, I cannot recommend this place enough. It is one of my all time most favorite places in the entire world. I would say as far as parks are concerned, I'm gonna say this is my second favorite, like just park in general next to, to next, next to Disney. Oh, okay. I mean, if you're just taking parks, if you're, if you're not taking into consideration you know, amusement parks <laughs> versus, you know, hi historical parks versus yeah. horticultural parks. If you're, if you're not taking into account what type of parks they are, if you're just saying parks in general, I'm going to say Longwood Gardens is, comes, comes just only second to Disney. It is that awesome. It is that amazing. It's just, again, you can come out here for the whole entire day and have an absolute blast out here walking around and exploring nature, getting some exercise, eating some delicious food, watching fountain shows. Definitely awesome. But all right, look, people are getting there. Wedding photos taken. I feel like we're in the way of people's wedding photos. Should we should we come through? Do you need us to come through or? All right. Okay. I don't, we don't want to, we don't want to be in your way. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's awesome. There used to be a giant tree right here, which is really cool. They had this big like curved branch you could sit on, but I guess they cut that down at some point, unfortunately. So all right, guys, that's good. We're gonna I'm gonna let you guys go. We're gonna continue to walk around. We're gonna have a blast here. We're gonna see so much cool stuff. I highly recommend if you guys are in the Kennett Square area, right by, right by Brandywine. We're actually kind of on the border of Pennsylvania and Delaware, right outside of Wilmington. Okay. So if you guys are ever in that area, I cannot recommend coming out here enough, checking this place out. It is so cool. I'm gonna walk over here where I'm not 
so blinded by the sun. The sun is coming right down that path right now. It's completely blinding me. But again, it's fantastic. Great time of year to come out here as well. The so fall nice. is amazing. I can't, we need to come out here once the leaves start changing color. Oh, yeah. That's going to be really, really beautiful. So I'm so happy to be an annual pass holder again yeah. to Longwood Garden. Just the fact that we can come out here anytime we want. You excited? I, I saw What'd you see? nature in the grates. There's oh, nature goodness. in the grates? There's plants growing in there. There's it's plants okay. growing in there? Yeah. I mean, we are outside, so. It, it would make sense, but all right, guys, I'll let you guys go. So anyway, again, if you are here in the Kenneth Square area, right outside of Wilmington, Delaware, on the right on the border of Pennsylvania and Delaware, definitely get out here. Check this place out. It's fantastic. It's amazing. One of the coolest parks I've ever been to. If you really want to truly experience this place, I highly recommend getting out here right when they first open. Pack a lunch, pack a dinner, or you can buy a lunch or buy a dinner from the actual restaurant they have here. They have all kinds of new um, setups of like, be you can get, if you're in drinking, they got beer. They've oh, got, kind of booze, they got like yeah. fire, um, like oven fired like Grills, pizza, pizza yeah. now and stuff. There's all kinds of different like food options you can do here now, which is really awesome. So again, you can come out here for the whole entire day, eat, drink, relax, drink. Married. Yeah, eat, drink, and be merry <laughs> and look at pretty flowers and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So, all right, guys, that's it. I mean, I, I keep wanting to go, I keep wanting to like tell people all this stuff there is to see here. There's, there's a, so there's a, um, a observatory, which yeah. is really awesome. They're actually expanding that out right now. It's an inside like green giant greenhouse. Yeah. So cool. There's technically a, like a sort of maze, but not really a there's maze. There's technically a sort of maze? Yeah. There's, there's a bunch of topiaries really in there. There is a bunch it's of topiaries. Really cool. So anyway, guys, I could, I could just go on. I'm, I could I could literally talk to you guys for the next like 20 minutes and go on and on and on about how amazing this place is and all the cool stuff you could see here. I just recommend getting out here. Check this place out. Highly, highly recommended. It. It's not too expensive to get in, get in. And honestly, if you want to become a annual member, that's not too expensive either. It's fairly well, well priced. So anyway, guys, with that, I am going to let you go now before I just keep on rambling but how much I love this place and how amazing it is. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a monthly postcard from the road. I will send a postcard out to you this October. I'll actually be sending you a postcard from Walt Disney World, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Also check down below for links to Spreadshirt. You can grab yourself what's with day-to-day t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do go to help putting gas inside Vanabelle so we can come out to fun, interesting places like this. And I might sign some of the postcards. Sometimes he does send some of the postcards, yes, but only, only some of them. Some of them. <laughs> so, so you might get one. So if you have, so you might one of the. Might not yes. get one another month. You might be one of the few lucky people who actually get an autographed postcard yes. from Sean. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. So anyway, guys, that's it. I appreciate the support. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. And if you guys are subscribed, and if you do subscribe, I will see you in tomorrow's video. And again, get out here to to Longwood Gardens. It's fantastic. It is beautiful. It is amazing. Look at this. Seriously. All right. I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.